and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Anivia Tribal. Played this deck early on in the week and it was just a lot of fun to play and I wanted to play it again so here we are. The goal of the deck, the reason why it's called Anivia Tribal, is because we're trying to get as many Anivias in play as possible. So we're trying to cheat out Anivias. We have a few ways to do that. You know, whenever Anivia dies, we can then use the Rekindler and revive Anivia after that. So that's that's one way. We have Spectral Matron. Um, for eight mana, pick an ally in hand, summon an exact copy of it. It's ephemeral. So there we go. We can bring it into play there. And then we also have uh, Splinter Soul, summon an exact copy of an ally. It's ephemeral. Uh, so that that can get us there. We even have a, a, chron a Chronicler of Ruin that if we play an Anivia, we can kill it and then revive it. The reason why all this, ephem this ephemeral stuff and this Chronicler of Ruin, it all works with Anivia. Usually you'd have to sacrifice your champion. But of course, whenever Anivia dies, you revive it transformed as Egg Nivia. And Egg Nivia, whenever you're enlightened, will turn back into Anivia. So it's okay to have these things that like you play an Anivia, have Anivia die, because it turns into Egg Nivia, can, can come back. Um, it's a pretty sweet little combo. And so that's what that's what we're doing. So we're... Uh, Besides that, we just got a, a bunch of cards that we have tailored towards aggro. You know, like we have Averroes and Sentry to block Icefield Archer, Ice, uh, Averroesian Marksman uh, to get some interaction with some creatures there, Avalanche to help us stay alive. And then we're ramping with Catalyst of Aeons. Ramping, of course, is so important with Anivia because you need to get enlightened as early as possible so that the eggs will turn in back into Anivia's. And then we have like the best sweeper in the game, you know, our Ruination, um, but then just some other sweepers with Life Gain, Withering Wheel, Grasp the Undying, other removal of Vengeance. So, like, you know, our deck's all about removal and then finding Anivia and getting as many as possible. So that's that's it. That's uh, Anivia Tribal. So let's give this a try. So we're going to go play it over in Ranked. We're going to play like 10 matches and see how see how it goes. Yeah, I would recommend exactly what Rex said. I recommend going to your region and get to level 8, because with 8, you get, get your uh, champion, then switch regions. And so basically get every single region up to level 8. After level 8, now I'm now I'm doing each region up to 18, because um, at 16, you get another champion. But then like two, like two more regions, or two more after that, you get a champion wild card. So I've been just getting each... Uh, up to 18 now. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to try to set up Ruination. They're going to be, you know, they're playing Demacio with Pure over here. They're definitely going to be having a good amount of barriers. Um, so that's bad for like Grasp the Undying, but it's good for Ruination. Night Owl! Keeping that 39 month streak going. Thank you, my Night Owl. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, I am behind on the sub goals. Wait, am I really behind? Is it seven? We got seven today? Wow. I was really behind. See the Demastian border from here. You think there's a better three drop than the three one archer? Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been happy with the three one archers because the thing about it is it it usually can block and trade up, right? Because it's a three one, or at least you know block a four four. You know, you know, it's good. It's a good blocker with having the extra toughness. If you, you know, it's going to die to everything. It's not good at blocking one ones, but of course, against the one ones, uh, you know, it can do the one damage. And then the one damage is kind of important when you're playing like Withering Whale, Avalanche, Grasp of the Undying, like these things that do like a little bit of damage. You can also kind of have it um, pair up in that that respect as well. Yeah, and three one. Yeah, blocking fearsome is very important. Arrow 
Bowser's at the ready. I'm what nightmares fear. Have one mana left. I'm gonna try to get rid of this Fiora. Yeah, they had the elixir. All right, so next turn, next turn we're going to be able to play Ruination. So this turn is all about. I should probably just do this to save some more life. This turn's all about. We have to save at least three mana. Uh, so the next turn, you know, we'll have the six plus the three, so we'll be able to ramp into Ruination. Huh. Or I could also just play Avalanche right now and do two damage to everything. I could also just do that. That's pretty good, too. All right, we'll see. If we can outlast them. We gotta find. We gotta draw Anivia. Now our hand, our hand's great if, until we draw Anivia. Oh. Well, it's not as good as it was just a little bit ago. Now. Opponent with the eleven power. Troop. Yeah, we got to stay alive. We do have the card advantage, but we're not necessarily... ...alive. If I go Withering Wheel, I'm just going down to three, so if they have Repost, I die. But I'd much rather use it than Vengeance. My hand's pretty bad. Wow. Man, after that avalanche and them just having one card, I, I really thought that we were going to be good. But no, suddenly they just put 11 power into play with one card. And then their next card they had was Rally. Like Those are the last two cards. Or like, you know, their last card, one card plus their draw step. Man. Elnux, man. Yep. Elnux. I'll just send this back to you. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised if Elmex gets hit by the patch also. I think that's what that's what it looks like. The two things that would be kind of I would have 
I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it's nothing, to be honest. But I don't know. You know, I just don't know how how active Riot is planning on being with patches and everything. But I'd say the two favorites are Hecarim and Troop of Elnux for something to for, the homestead. for something to happen. I, yeah, I understand it's one balance pat patch per month, but I don't know how active they're going to be in the balance patches. If that makes sense. I don't know how much they want to meddle. You know, because I'm, I'm used to, like, how, how much Wizards meddles in the metagame, but I don't know what that's going to be like with Riot. Gotcha. I think troop should be limited to pulling just one extra Elnuk. I mean, that would just make it I got the kids. pretty, um, like, people would never play that card. That you, like, maybe get the chance of hitting one Elnuk. I, I would kind of expect it to go down to, like, like, eight, you know, just change it from ten to eight cards. Something like that. I could see that happening. Instead of a fourth of the deck, you go through um, you go through a fifth of the deck. We need to find a Nivea because my hand does nothing. Like these matrons, these splinter souls, or Kindle, none of these cards do anything. Wow. Yeah, if we can't find a Nivea, we we just can't do anything. They're out there. I mean, I guess I can cycle splinter soul. But the thing is, they could just kill this in response, I guess. Escapes my watch. The shadow approaches. Well, they found Hecarim. No, I, I I actually took out the entreat. In, in there was one entreat in here, and I actually took it out. I don't. I really don't like entreat. We're a little ways away. We're another turn away from having this Anivia. We each died, then found home. Be an egg. Or like Yeah, we're we're one turn away from enlightenment. 
I wouldn't be surprised if a ruination. I wouldn't be surprised like they go ruination, then then they rekindler back their Hecarim. Basically, I wouldn't be surprised if they have rekindlers. I hope they don't, but I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess I do need to keep a fairly high life total. Oh, this would have been the turn. Oh, I should have just Splinter Soul this, shouldn't I? But no, cause, again, I think they would probably have instant speed removal. But I guess now, because next turn we're going to be enlightened, so they will will come back. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ah, oh, boo. I don't like that as much. This is our time. So I'm going to have 11 mana. I'm probably not going to want to cast Ruination again after we start really cloning these Anivias here pretty soon. We'll get this out of our hands. Well, I still get to do that this turn. I can Matron Anivia now. And, you know, Splinter Soul. Matron is a play trigger, so if I Splinter Soul it, I won't get the trigger. It's not a summon. And copying the copying the egg doesn't really work. All right. Well, they're down to four cards. I still have my two Anivias that I haven't actually played yet. If they play Hecarim, I cast Vengeance. Or Heimerdinger. Grasp that. Yeah, exactly. Yep, they have to use a couple of cards to deal with each Anivia. I can't do that infinitely.
I'm just going to attack. I don't feel like we don't need to play a Splinter Soul into another Ruination. I feel like we can just try to get, you know, just get this five damage in, put him down to three. We're in a good spot. Don't see the rush. I guess they could have Harrowing. Harrowing would be a real problem. Maybe that's a reason why I should have kept Ruination is because of Harrowing. That would be a real problem. Do I play this? It would put me down to 10 mana. I kept it because I thought that maybe we'll need like harsh winds and vengeance. That's why I didn't play it to keep the 13 mana. When to bank bank my mana. I, this is a pretty good time to start playing them, though. They can't play anything besides Ruination. Ruination doesn't save them. But, like, Ruination would tap them out. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. All right, let's go to attacks. A new era begins. Anivia tribal. <laughs> Triple trigger. Each trigger does two damage to him. Slow trigger. Fire decks called a Nivea Tribal. Victory. Gotta outgrind those Hecarums. <laughs> we did the thing. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Look at this deck, you know, like it has like some good has definitely some good staying power, really good late game. Like just that game, we played three, four, five, six. What did we play what six? Anivia's that game?
You had a Heimer Lux deck able to deal with like seven or eight Anivias and beat me one time. Tilt. Third toughness from Elise is kind of rough. Guess we can grasp it. I can do this. Fresh tracks. Gotcha. So I'm hoping to be able to block one of them with the 3-1 and grasp the other. Wish they'd play more two toughness things. Less three toughness things. All right, let's get rid of this prankster. We don't just take a bunch of unnecessary damage. They're out there. I'll spot them. Stir out from the darkness. Look out for reavers. I hope this works. I don't love where I'm at right now. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I really don't love where we're at now. Wish I would have just passed, obviously. Very good chance that we're dead. Yep. It's that avalanche. If I just don't play the avalanche, if I just like pass, I don't know. I mean, maybe. By by playing the avalanche, I kept myself from being able to play the ruination the next turn. Also, but yeah, that avalanche play ended up being really bad. Yeah, that, that, that's a rough one to play against for sure. Our deck is so incredibly slow, and that deck has a lot of burn and everything. That's a pretty poor matchup. But I honestly had like a good hand for our, for our deck. I had a good hand for that matchup when we got ran over. Looks like a very similar type deck. I really don't want to see Elise. So, like, Elise is really strong. You got three toughness. You know, basically better than a two mana three three. Lady Elise, please take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. And of course they have to have it. I must get out of here. Hear that. Counter fortune. 
Keeping them from attacking. We could use... Could use a ruination. Yeah, there's the counter spell is deny. It's there's four mana deny and uh basically it is It it only counters abilities and fast and slow spells. So it's basically like negate. It's it doesn't counter like creatures. There's nothing that counters creatures. But it, then it costs four mana. That was something that used to cost three mana that you could just have with like with your spell mana available, and it was pretty format warping at that point. And so that was something in the last patch they changed it to four mana. One toughness stuff. Yeah, one toughness. So right now we're uh, going up to 10, taking five, taking nine. Going down to one. Fresh tracks. Gotcha. So it'd be a good time for an for an Anivia. I mean, I could just like play a six six matron.
Isn't it supposed to be? Oh, it's just it's ephemeral. It's not a one one. We're just playing eight mana six sixes and six mana four fours. So they could still go wide. Anivia! Let's go! The Freljord's Eternal Guardian! Let's go! Well, that was a close one. Went down to one. Up to number 500. Yeah, that was a close one. Oh, sorry, Forks. I mean, do you have any suggestions on something to use channel points on? Do you watch like any other channels that have like something really cool for channel points? Yeah, I, I just haven't any of like the other things that I've seen are just I haven't really seen any anything really good for them, honestly. I don't know what to do with them. There. I'll spot them. <laughs> Retie my tie. Safeguard our homes. Think I got something. Catalyst. That's good. The dark beckons. Fresh catch. So yeah, so basically what I would I would just untie my tie and then retie it. For for yeah, a certain number of channel points. All right, so they're playing an ephemeral Hecarim. So that definitely means they have Rekindler. I'm still going to Vengeance it so they don't just attack for a million. 
And then after they play Rekindler, then we'll Ruination. Problem is I'm one short of Ruination this turn. Okay, there's hard cast in another one. It's also bad. Redeem for a name shout out? Okay. I mean, that's not. That's not much as a name shout out. They cannot hide. I have so many cards over there. Really feel like feel like whenever I kill Hecarim, they're gonna have another. Oh, okay. You get a compliment. I like that. I like that. All right, so my, my plan here is to have three Anivias attacking next turn. That's my plan. That's what I said. That was that's what I'm setting up. Triple Anivia triggers, deal six damage, they can kill Hecarim. Then on their turn, they play their own Hecarim, we vengeance it. Before combat. Check out these moves. I guess they could just play Hecarim. We could just play another one on, on my end step oh, here. You're in for it. Master. Yeah, this Anivia deck is really unique. Yeah, it is really cool. I we have a we've been drawing a whole lot of Anivia clone cards here recently. Hopefully we draw another one. You know, like another Rekindler. Would be awesome. See if we can get a fourth Anivia in here. 
Return to us. Yeah, 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 there's that. So they can just attack with Hecarim and then have basically everything. Yeah, they really didn't need to attack with this 4-4 also. I protect this place. I will endure. Do they have sack draw too? We can likely attack for lethal here or close to it. Winter take you. Right now they can just block two things. Snow, wind, and ice. Join the conflagration. Your life is a bird. <laughs> Oh yeah, N yeah, Nivius can block. Awesome. And Nivia Tribal 3 and 2. Thanks, we're at 439. We started today at like 200. And we are one game under 500 overall. We're 7 and 8. And we've moved down to 439. For how much rank you lose if you're just 500, it, it kind of incentivizes you not to play. All right, a couple withering whales, marksman rekindler. We'll send them all back. Looking for Anivia's Catalyst of Aeon. Avalanche is just fine. All right, forks. Take care. Make sure, yeah. Take take care of work and. You know, get everything done, and then have a great spring break. Full speed ahead. For the homestead. So I'd, basically, I was thinking I don't want to like play more things out when we have like Avalanche, but my opponent must just have you know three Hecarims, three Rekindlers in hand, like these decks always seem to have. Let's move. 
Yeah, I do too. Banana, pineapple, man, I do too. I miss Hawkeye as well. Look out for Reavers. That's fair. That was a bad block. I was doing the block because the reason why I blocked was death mark was the reason why I blocked. But that was a bad block. I was it was bad against. Sure. I'll get that denied. That's fine with me. It's a bad block against Mark of the Isles, that's for sure. But I should have, even, even with that, I should have blocked with the 3-1, not the 3-3. Safeguard our home. How do they always have infinite Hecarims? We each die. Always have infinite Hecarims. Hear that? Strike her. Fight fast. They'll never see us coming. The villages. Ready the torches. Save the homestead. Light the signal fires. GG. Could have saved two life if I. Didn't block that 3 3 before if I would have blocked it the 3 1. Yeah, it's basically a one turn kill. Yeah, we were at like 18 or something like that, like close to that. Yeah, I think I was at 18. Same deck again. Oh no, this is the. Never mind. I saw Zed. I was thinking the same deck again, but no, it's not. This is the elusive deck. Good, no one drop. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. So I didn't play the sentry, because if I play the sentry, then I can't play the five mana card the next turn. All right, so I got rid of the 3-1 and put one damage on that. I don't want to pass and let them pick it up with the Conspirator, especially how this is such a good thing to replay. I don't want that to happen. That was pretty good.
but we're still tied. We basically traded three for three overall. Or, well, I traded two for their... I traded two for three, but they also drew a card because of the Shadow Assassin. Nope. Wrong card. These old eyes still see far and clear. Look out for Reavers! Alert the villains! See the Nebastian border from here. From here. Takes a long time to get enlightened if you don't have any any ramp. In Avarosa's name. Yeah, yep, yeah, so their top card was Omen Hawk or Elixir, and it seems like Omen Hawk. Plus three, plus three card. I have an awkward amount of mana. Eleven. The spirit of wind. I really, really wish I was. Uh, really, really wish I was enlightened this next turn, like this turn that we were about to be able to attack with. Wait, does this not work anymore? I can't matron my Anivia anymore? Because we have the Anivia in play? Oh, I did not really realize that. It was going to work like that. That makes sense. Yeah, it didn't really... Didn't really consider that. No, no, if Anivia becomes an egg, I don't think you can play a new Anivia. Oh, 
not exactly ruination or bust because I mean we don't have time for don't have time to play ruination anyway. Stay back. It makes my life a lot more difficult, though. <clears throat> makes my life a lot more difficult. I probably just shouldn't even gone for that. So they passed, because they know that I'm going to attack with the Nivea, then after I attack, then they're going to play stuff. I will be I'm not going to let them play stuff after I attack. Because especially how they jewel protector, I'm going to just, I'm going to make them waste 13 mana and go to the next turn. Because the attack would only kill these two things anyway. Escapes my watch. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. There's ruination. I protect this place. Yeah, so they have another one of those seven this drops. We'll have ruination time. for the next one. But. Doesn't look like we need it anymore. Looks like we've, sta we've stabilized. Now we got two Anivias. Because, you know, even on their turn, you know, we'll have Vengeance, Harsh Winds. I don't, I don't really see them winning this from here now. survived long enough for our Nivea tribal deck to take over. Where they just like play, you know, all five creatures, and I'm not even worried whatsoever. Yeah, they they can't win this from here. They could have deny. They could have deny. They haven't had deny this whole time, but that's what they. A new 
could add Omen Hawk. The last two cards could have been Omen Hawk and then a 6 5 Conspirator. After I played that Ruination, they would have killed me. You know, just any, any one drop and then and Conspirator said 3 mana. Now it's definitely over. They'll never see me coming. Brace yourself. Go back up to nine. I bring the storm. All right, Nivia, bring the storm. This Nivia, coming. bring in the storm. Fifty-two. Uh, trying to get back to where we were. And then the other deck we're going to be playing today, the Elite Mentality deck. That one I'm very... I'm very speculative that that deck will work. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that's true. You can have two of the same champion on the battlefield if you can cheat him in. Um, this is five damage. Head to the beat up, friend. That's fine. So I have seven mana right now, so if I cast this, go up to five, then six, but then eight. Sorry, so I cannot play Catalyst of Aeons. I cannot play Catalyst of Aeons into Ruination the next turn. Did that perfectly. That was the correct attack. Chefs into chefs into that. Pump one of the chefs up to a 3 4. Um, block this other chefs. I guess, technically, I guess this is just a better block. It's not a better block against Avalanche, but. We're not really killing stuff with Avalanche.
they both attack for like three damage this next turn but that damage i you know that one had two that one had three hmm No, I, I mean, I, I blocked the 3-2, not the 2-3. The I saved one point of damage. Up, yeah, because I, I saved one point of damage for that. <clears throat> that block. Maybe I should have played Avalanche that last turn. Correct, it's the same damage the next turn, but that turn I didn't take three, I only took two. But the next turn they both attack for three, but I still saved one life. That turn. The spirit of winter awakens. So basically, I think that if I play Ruination, then they just un drop a whole bunch of other creatures, and then they go straight into attacks, and I'm dead. So I think that I think I needed to play like one of these the next turn, but. So, to counteract that, my plan, which did not work, plan did not work. Yeah, plan did not work. My plan was to, to play that, and then I was going to splinter soul it, and I was going to attack with both of these and do like two damage to all their stuff, and they would go back to attacks and have winter will on their turn. But did not work. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Avalanche three, six, seven, eight. No, that's lethal. Wait, no, because then that'll kill that. No, not the Cythria. Why can't I have one more one more mana? Alright, I'm I'm sure if we go back and replay this that I did not play this optimally. I'm absolutely sure I did not. Taking lethal damage anyway. Absolutely sure I did not. Uh, it's a difficult game. It's a difficult game. Mediogre, thank you so much. Loving the Legends of Runeterra content, not missing MTG. 
Honestly, I'm not either. So yeah, thank you so much there, Mediogre. This game is awesome. I am just real excited to see like what you know new next set seems like, you know is going to be like, and excited for it to be out on mobile, be able to play on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a horrible Masters ranking on this channel. It's just going to happen because I'm, I'm not going to just sit there and play one deck. You know, like one deck that's, you know, like the best deck to play. I'm not going to just sit there and play that over and over and over again and try to get like the number one ranking because, you know, I want to play lots of different decks and, you know, make YouTube videos and stuff like that. And so, like, these decks that we're playing today are not are not necessarily the best, but they're fun to play. And so, how this Masters ranking is, it's, you know, if you're 500, you're losing a lot of rank if you're just going 500. And so, we're just going to be losing a lot of rank. I guess that's just how it's going to be. That's how their system is. Lady Elise? Where are you? Thanks, Nalcast, and yeah, glad glad you like the deck. It's fun to play. It's it's not easy though. What? Don't mind me. I was gonna say, why would they not attack with that thing? Ready the torches. Time to go. So we're down to twelve. So they just got a spider and three cards in hand. We're not doing too bad. Wow, they had nothing else to play. Looking even better for me. Still nothing. Alright, got an Anivia out here. Rend the skies. They likely have, like, since they haven't been playing anything, they likely have a lot of burn spells. And therefore, I, I probably should have waited a turn to do this because they're just going to use a burn spell on the egg. If I waited one turn, then, you know, like, Anivia would have came back right away. Easy to predict. The so yeah, I should I should have waited a turn.
They couldn't block the 6-6. Six, six. The 6-6 six, six has Fearsome, so it can only be blocked by creatures three or three or more power, so that's why they didn't block the 6-6 six, six that previous turn. No. If I do that, though, they will kill Anivia. I'm sure they have a Get Excited in hand. At least I was pretty sure they had to get excited in hand. So we want to turn it into a 3 5 first. Alright, I guess they don't have a get excited. Or they're holding the get excited trying to do 14 damage to me. So they didn't play anything with that 12 mana. We got this. They gotta do 20 damage to me this turn. I think we got this. There we go. Five and four. Five and four, definitely respectable. Absolutely respectable. And if we can get this one, our last match with it, if we can get this this one, we'll be six and four and finish with a 60% win rate. But we have guaranteed at least 500 and happy with that, with our fun brew. Alright, double Catalyst of Aeons. Back to playing this Hecarim Zed deck again. Femoral deck. I am the blade in the darkness. Let's find a Nivea. Obviously. Please control. Obviously they have that. Doesn't look good. So they're saying GG. Winter take you. Forever, 
I still got stuff though. These old eyes still see far and clear without a sound. Yuck. Basically using this card that all, all it is is just a gain life card. Wow, double glimpse beyond. That is awesome. Draw four. That's a turn right there for them. Anivia, we need you. I needed one more mana this turn also. I guess I could just play Chronicler. I guess we'll just do that. <clears throat> it's not super likely that we hit... Um, Anivia. I still have five cards. Good, no Zed. Anivia. Fair. If it's a fight they want. Thank you, Q. Good evening. There's a Nivea. Let's go. To start, I guess it's not even good to attack with the Nivea because all it does is turn the one one this one one into a four four right now. I will be reborn. 
All right, so we have a couple of frost bites, or a couple, couple of harsh winds. This is not fair at all. I don't I don't think we survived this. We don't survive this. Because they get three more three ones back. All right, so we went 500, five and five. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. We'll take that. Um, you know, fun deck to play. I'd have to say playing through it, the Averroes and Sentries actually didn't, they weren't spectacular. They weren't spectacular. Um, yeah, that was, that was a card that, that wasn't spectacular, but, um, it kind of, it kind of did its thing though. I wonder if like, I wonder if the deck should have like another champion, you know, so like rekindlers can hit, you know, like if we should be playing either Thresh or Hecarim, uh, I think both Thresh and Hecarim are probably better than Trindamir. I could see doing that. Ash, maybe. Um, we're not really frostbiting at all. The only frostbite we have is like whenever we have an Anivia in play and then Harsh wins. As far as Ash is concerned. Um... Yeah, probably not Ash. Oh, we have the 3-1 also? Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. We have the 3-1 also. Maybe. Like, maybe instead of, like, Chronicler of Ruin, we play Ash. Just ups the power level, I guess. But it doesn't doesn't help us get it as many Anivias as we need in play. It's it's like our deck is so close. Like a lot of those those losses were like really close. Like we almost stabilized but didn't quite. And so I I feel like our our deck is is real close. Um That ephemeral deck has has gotten really popular though and and that's that's a problem. That ephemeral deck that just keeps on bringing, you know, like the sharks that just keep on coming back as as we saw there. Like that was really a problem. Like that was a couple of our losses which we just couldn't handle like the sharks that just kept coming back. And I don't know if there's any real good option honestly for the shark. Um that was that was something that we definitely struggled with today. <clears throat> but but a fun deck to play and it's really not it's not bad you know we went five five over there in masters and and a lot of those losses were just really close where 
where, you know, like another, like a little bit more in our favor, we would have been winning. Like, it's not like we were getting blown out. Uh, you know, whether like, a, you know, opponent doesn't have, you know, card A or maybe we have card B, you know, like that kind of stuff. Like it was really close. So uh, fun deck to play and a uh, good one. I think this is, I think this is a good deck. You know, it's not like one of the very best in the format, of course, but I think this is a good deck that you can put up some good win rates with. All right, but that's Anivia Tribal. So those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know if you're trying this deck out also. Let me know how it's going for you. And um, if, you know, if you have any, any suggestions, because like I said, I think it's really close, but I, I don't really know how to upgrade it, you know, to, to make it even better. But if you have any suggestions, you know, feel free to throw them over there in the comments there on YouTube. Um, and then, yeah, the Swim's new Prankster deck. Yeah, that's that's definitely a big problem, too. So, yeah, both of those those new decks, the Ephemeral deck and the Prankster deck, those are those are some tough matchups that the new popular decks. All right, but that's it here for Anivia Tribal. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.